Many people don't stop once they get their first tattoo. For some, it becomes an addiction. Others, it becomes their identity. And for no one more so than this 33-year-old man from Birmingham. King of England, King Body Art, the extreme inkite. King Body Art, or Matthew to his mum, is a pillar of the community. Basically, I'm delivering the uh, Liberal Democrat newsletter called Focus. But everything's good? Yeah, everything's fine. How's the missus? One of the great things that I love about canvassing is you're getting out there and meeting people. When someone looks at me, they shouldn't just see the tattoos and the multicoloured hair. They should see someone in a suit that's cap capable of, of doing a job. Over the last 17 years, Matthew has spent hundreds of hours in the tattooist's chair at a cost of around £20,000. I have a big snake on the top of my head. I have multiple snakes on my body. There's one here, uh, one here, and Japanese snake here. From the top of my head all the way down to my toes, I'm tattooed, including my Johnson, yes. It's, it's blue, yeah, what can we say? My penis is blue, and um, that's only because of the relation to the Birmingham city. I'm, I'm a blue nose. Putting art on your body is one of the biggest forms of self-expression. I classify myself as a rainbow man, modified, because I, I don't see myself as white no more. Matthew got his first tat when he was 16, and now has over 80% of his skin tattooed. Oh, my gosh. No way. How old were you there? Oh, God, it's hard to tell, actually. I think I was about 13, 14. You look no, I was probably older, actually. I was 15, I think. Oh, look, you're so cute. Oh, my goodness. What year was that taken? This was... This is hard to tell. I was in my 20s when these were done. So, in these photos, as a person inside, were you unhappy with your life then? No, not really. I mean, I mean I've always been happy with my life, but I'm more happier now. That I've got the tattoos. Yeah. Because I'm expressing myself the way I want to. My name is Body Art. I'm yeah. Body Art in life. It's like a canvas. Yeah. I'm proud of my tattoos. Despite his radically unconventional look, there's only one of Matthew's tattoos that I find truly shocking. Oh my God. That blackness is a tattoo in your eye. The, the black ink is actually um, in the muscle tissue, yes. Tattooing the white of the eye involves injecting ink several times directly into the eyeball. It's an extremely high-risk procedure. I've had a lot of eye surgery um, because I was blinded. Uh, my cornea was destroyed with acid. So I've probably had about, I don't know, 60, 70 procedures on my eyes in total. And I found it a really painful area to deal with. So I can't imagine how it would feel to have a procedure like that. You could be the very first person that undergoes the uh, practice, or you could be the 700th person that goes under the practice that goes blind. Yeah. It's, it's real high risk. I personally could not understand anyone that would want to take that risk, but um, it is a personal choice. For Matthew, his tattoos have become a way of saying who he is. But for many more of us, they're about expressing our feelings. Three years ago, Dominic met the man of his dreams. We met on the Friday, partied all weekend, carried it on until the Monday. After just three days together, he and New Flame Stefan knew exactly how they wanted to declare their everlasting love for each other. And that's when we decided to get each other's name tattooed on our necks. I had a really good feeling after we got them done. We were both really excited about them. Took lots of photos, put them on the internet, things like that. But it didn't take long for Dom to start feeling like a right tat prat. He and Stefan broke up three days later. And now the tattoo tribute makes things a bit awkward with new boyfriend Darren. I would never get a tattoo after meeting someone for three days. That's, that's ridiculous. Did it put you off me at all? Your stupidity did. Obviously, I tried to avoid it and, like, kiss his other side. It's not nice waking up every day and having to look at it. And that is part of the reason I want it gone, for your sake. But the stamp of Stefan isn't the only inky error amongst Dominic's regrets. He has, it seems, a few to mention. I've got tattoos on my knuckles as well. I think I regretted them borderline straight away because they were so big and so on show all the time. I don't think there's really a meaning behind them. It was generally just something to fit on my hands, two different words that were four letters long. 
A lot of people think it says porn star or think that I had porn star and got it covered up. Born star is as ridiculous as it sounds. Born a star. I'm working the call centre now, so not quite. A few days later, it's time for the painful process of lasering Dom's neck and knuckle tats to begin. You scared? Bricking it. <laughs> are you are you looking forward to saying goodbye to it? <laughs> Can I give it a kiss goodbye? No, thanks. Dom's going to be treated by Dr Ben Saunders, who performs around 30 removals a week. I'm seeing a hell of a lot of people coming in now asking for tattoos that were impulsive or based on fashion to be removed, and the demand is massive. It's quite interesting how there are different fashions that you see. Dolphins, lizards, Chinese symbols, all these things that were trendy years ago are now not trendy and there's a huge influx of people asking for them to be removed. So I would say, I mean, you've got some colour in here and unfortunately you've got some red. Red is the most stubborn colour to remove. Your hands, they won't look like mine. They will, you know, we're removing the tattoos but there's a chance there's going to be a remnant of the ink left. First up, Dom's dodgy knuckles. Right. Pinky first, yeah? Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, I think it's worth that. Dr Ben is treating Dom with the very latest in laser technology. It breaks down the ink into even tinier particles than standard lasers. So it means fewer sessions, faster removal and usually less scarring. But even the new laser can't guarantee perfect results. It's not picked up the red that well. Don't panic. Well, let me just go over that red. Oh. That hand is done. Time now for the neck, where Dom's X marks the spot. Three, two, one. Oh, my God, it's like an electric shock. That's done. Okay. Will it? Will Stefan go completely? Lettering like that is etched quite deeply in the skin, so it's going to be a bit more stubborn and take a bit more removing. Even with this latest technology, it's likely that Dom's tats will need to be zapped three more very painful times. And with the cost for treatment averaging around three grand per tattoo, it's easy to see why so many people regret their inky acts of impulse. Coming up, will Deja change her mind about having a huge inking? On Rati, I think the people without the massive tattoos on the Rati will look like the weird ones. Does the woman whose body art graced this album cover have regrets 40 years on? When you're young, you don't believe you're going to get old. And Melissa undergoes painful treatment on her tattoo in the hope of finally getting it off her chest. It feels like someone's dragging, like, a hot iron down my skin. A quarter of all the people in Britain with tattoos wish they'd no longer had at least one of them. Are there any regrets with your tattoos? Uh, only the one on my back of, on the back of my neck because it's so bad. <laughs> it's, What's bad about the one on the back of your neck? It's just stars and everybody has them. That's so. like, oh no. Oh, that's okay. It's small, isn't it? Yeah, at least I can hide it. <laughs> yeah. But despite the growing number of regretters, 19-year-old Deja's still planning to join the ranks of the stamped, like her best mate, Kayla. How's your tattoo today? It's good. It's stopped hurting now. It's like scabbing a bit, like healing over. She's considering getting her entire back inked with a picture of a lion's face. There'll be so many people that'll look like us with all these tattoos when we're 80. I think the people without the massive tattoos when they're 80 will look like the weird ones. <laughs> But will she still love it when she's 80? Back in 1971, this Super Tramp album cover showing the bare tattooed chest of a young woman caused quite a stir. Today, that woman, Marion Hollier, is 68. Has she come to regret her tattoos? That one was the first one in 1963. I was 17 
And I chose that one because I played a lot of cards at the time. Right, OK. This is the one that was copied off yeah. the cushion cover. Oh, really? Uh, and it's your back um, covered in tattoos as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. My tiger's at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I had that for my mother. What did your mum think of all your tattoos? I didn't much care. <laughs> um, she was most disparaging all the time. Uh, what want that rubbish for? Did Pizza. you hide them from her? No, or no, 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 no. I never did anything from her. So how are you wearing these pictures? Very glamorous and tattooed and young. Did you ever think about when you got old what the, what the tattoos would look like? No. It was just, here I am, that's it. Mm. When they're young, you don't believe you're going to get old. What do you think of um, this kind of trend for tattoos now? Because we're seeing it everywhere on young people, aren't we? Well, I'm, I'm quite pleased, actually, because it makes you an individual. But do you think it does if so many people are doing it now? Well, no, because they don't all pick the same thing. Mm. What do you think your tattoos make you? Different. Because nobody else has got them. Not mine, anyway. Mm. So I'm just different, that's all. That can't be a bad thing. Sometimes not. <laughs> It's clear that some Ink fans will always love their look, but all too often, it's a source of regret. Earlier, I met Melissa, who feels her life as a young mum has been blighted by the big chest tattoo she got when she was a teenager. She's about to undergo the painful process of getting it removed. But before she does, she's agreed to meet Deja to try and discourage her from inking a lion's face across her whole back for good. So, waiting in the other room is Melissa. Now, she knows exactly what it's like to have a large tattoo because mm. she had one done and now regrets it. Um, and she wants to talk to you. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Really? Why are you nervous? Because I am her before and she has an after and I don't want to have an after. I don't want to regret it. And I'm about to meet someone that does. I definitely will listen to what she has to say, definitely, because she's been through it. She's wiser yeah. about it. So it might have an effect on me. It's oh, very, it's very big. And it's definitely on show. And I'm actually getting it removed. Why? Why, um, why are you getting your own personal tattoo removed? Now when I look at it, all I can see is like the person that I was six years ago and it's not a part of me anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a big lion's face. I have a picture. Hang on. Lion's face? Yeah. Random. I know. Um, so this. Right. <gasps> the lion represents a strong family and it shows that for me constantly. It's a constant reminder on my back that I can achieve a strong family and what I've been through and what I'm going to go through in life. Could you show that strength by being that lion instead of, you know, having it yeah. tattooed on your back? I just feel like if I have that tattoo, then for me, I'll feel, I'll feel stronger myself. I'll feel more confident about what I want. I'm worried for you because I'm thinking, if you feel, in the next few years, the way I feel about mine, yeah. it's really going to change you as a person, it's yeah. going to knock you. Yeah. Have you thought into, like, booking it, or is this something that you're still thinking about? Or... I've booked it. You've actually booked yeah, it? Yeah, it's What, the whole thing? The whole thing. Oh, my days. What it looks like there might not look like I know. what's on your body. I know, I know that. And that's probably, if anything, what you said about me regretting it after and changing who I am and also it not looking how I want it to look are the main things that are making me think maybe I shouldn't get it done. I really do hope that, you know, you've taken in something. Yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely have. I'm, I'm, you're making me have second thoughts. I think I've given her something to think about. And even if she does go ahead with getting this tattoo done, then at least I know that, you know, she's gone ahead with it, knowing a bit more information about it than I did before I got my tattoo done. I'm going to take in everything that she said and put it all in my head and just leave it there to fester until I am 1,000% sure that I want to get the tattoo. If Deja presses ahead with her plan, there's serious pain on the horizon for both of these young women. 
because the day has now come for Melissa to have her first laser treatment. So what we'll do, we'll start with a small area and we'll just make sure that you're comfortable with it. There's different speeds to this laser. Obviously, the, the benefit of going faster is it's 